We're gonna bring up the female energy just a <laughs> little bit here. That's right, all us girls. Mm -hmm. um, and a, just a quick reminder, if you're looking for some more room, you wanna spread out a little bit, as Chris mentioned, please go down to the area right next to the Head in the Lounge. We are live broadcasting this entire stream, so if you want a little bit more room to spread out, feel free to go downstairs. Hello, April. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we wanted to have a conversation with you guys um, while we have most of you in the room about how to get involved. So April, will you take us through a little bit of a history on the working groups, pillars, disciplines, all the things. Uh, Chris didn't really cover this as much today. He's gonna let us kind of go into more detail. So if you can kind of give us a background. So if you've been involved in HEDNA for any amount of time, you've known that there's always been some sort of working groups that are going on. And those working groups were intended to answer some of the questions or, or put together some best practices and or standards for some of the challenges that we were up against as an industry. Uh, personally, one of the first working groups I've ever been engaged in was a content one, and it was around trying to develop some content standards, which we haven't quite made it there, but you know, <laughs> we'll be talking about content a little bit later today, so stay tuned for that one. And Natalie, so when was the first time you were engaged? Content. <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed like the easiest, which is funny for those of us now who have a little bit of time under our belt, it's definitely not the easiest, but it was the same reason I think April probably got involved, is I wanted to find a way to help. Yep. And I wasn't quite sure how to get involved in HEDNA. I loved the people and the networking and, and the, the passion of how people were driving it forward. And I thought, well, sure, I can help do something. Little did I know <laughs> that I didn't know enough to get involved and then ended up getting involved in the, market, in the mobile networking group, which is no longer around. But um, you know, I think that that's really kind of where we wanted to have a conversation was, how do you, as our membership, get involved? We are elected by you. We can't do anything without your feedback. So you'll see in the conference today, a lot of what you, the changes that we have made, even in the conference, is because of feedback we have received from our members at large. So part of what we have worked on, you've heard us talk about how pillars were exploded. <laughs> we went from working groups to pillars, and now we're um, really going with disciplines. Yes. So we want to make sure everybody leaves this room as clear as mud. New Louisiana mud <laughs> on uh, clear as a hurricane, how, um, how disciplines work. So can you yeah. kind of give us an overview? So as Natalie just mentioned, we've, we've gone through working groups, we've gone through pillars, we've gone through all of these different things. And with us on the board, our, our new and very passionate energy on the board, Natalie and myself, um, we were kind of taking a look at the working groups that were out there. And we're like, well, is it really doing what we intended to do? Is it being as effective? Is it addressing the things that matter to head in a membership? And there were three areas or, or three good things that I think were challenges that were identified. One is just engagement. We have a limited number of people who can actually exactly. get onto these things or have time to be able to be a part of it. But also another challenge was it was a lot of siloed thinking. So even the working groups that we participated in for content, only content people put some word or some thought into those papers and things that were produced. And it doesn't necessarily reflect or speak to all of the head and the membership. Exactly. And the third thing that we saw is just, it was a, a, a strain to kind of keep these things going because they weren't actually producing anything. It was a lot of conversation that was going on, a lot of great conversation. As we, as we know, we can all get together and talk a lot. Um, so a lot of good conversation went on, but not anything that was produced that was tangible that we could move forward with. So we looked at these challenges and we're like, well, hey, we need to take a step back. Let's figure out how we can, one, allow people to get engaged, but also be able Able to engage in a way where it's not siloed output. My big example that I, I produced and talked to the board about and sold this concept is ABS. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be on the stage uh, at several instances. Some of you may have seen a webinar that I did uh, in partnership with AHLA last week. So it's a, a constant conversation. But a few headings ago, we all got together, a lot of passionate people in the room, and we put together a white paper in Hedna, and we put definitions out there. And in that particular working group, it was only connectivity people talking about ABS. Mm -hmm. 
There are, again, you saw the other disciplines. There's content that's related to ABS. There's revenue management and optimization implications of ABS. And if we as Hedna are producing a white paper or we're putting out something or saying as a statement, it should be something that speaks to everyone who comes to this commercial, to this conference, not just the connectivity people, the commercial folks, everyone who comes to this conference, when we put something out, it needs to be addressing all of them. And so with that, what we've come to now is this concept of disciplines, which you've seen uh, on the screen, and initiatives. So we can kind of break down what a yep. discipline is. And a discipline, if you'll think of it more broadly as a community of practice, I think the, the term we kind of, we, we threw around when we were talking about this is the, it's the place where you can go to nerd out. Yeah. Like, this is literally the only conference yeah. I can come to and talk to people about um, about open travel XML and talk about a TPA extension and how painful it is <laughs> and people actually know what I'm talking about. So that is very, very rare to be able to have those conversations unless I'm talking to my team back at home. So this is a community of practice. So when we think about those community of communities of practice, whether it's connectivity, which is my discipline, and content, which is Audrey's. And then there's another one out there on payments. These different communities of practice are people who want to nerd out and want to talk about what's impacting that specific area. And that's where you can come and you have this ability to network and find out who are all of the other nerds just like you who want to talk about those specific things that impact your area. But then where do the initiatives come in? These used to be the working groups. And this addresses that pain point that everybody kind of wants to um, participate in everything. Uh, if I wanted to participate in whatever connectivity was doing, at the conferences sometimes, it would overlap where they were scheduled at the same time. Exactly. So I couldn't do both. But what we've said is that we want to put forth initiatives that can be cross-functional. So that if you are across any discipline, wherever you identify, you can still participate in an initiative. And we want those initiatives to be hotel driven. Yes. We want them to be something that an IHG, a Marriott, a Hilton, or somebody is raising their hand and saying, this is something that's important. I think the example we had yesterday was taxes and fees. Yes, and I think like a great, so I'm gonna use our friend Sydney here who asked some great, very provocative questions that we're all dealing with um, because it, it crosses every single one of those segments. So let's say for example, Sydney comes and says, hey, I have an idea for an initiative and we're not gonna make you do this, but maybe we will. Um, so, <laughs> so, so Sydney comes in and says, hey, I've got an idea. Um, we, we're running up against this and we don't know how to solve it. So uh, maybe she gets another hotelier. She says, hey, Best Western, hey, Hilton, come with us on this journey. It would be kind of sponsored, and that doesn't mean financially. It just means that we need a hotel to bounce things off of. So the hotel community comes to us and says, these three hotels would like to sponsor this idea. We need to solve for refunds within California within 24 hours, even though it's a non-refundable. Great. So then what we do is we break that down and say, well, who does this affect? Affects connectivity. It's going to affect content because how are the OTAs going to display it in the GDSs? Um, you know, how are you going to pass it was the first one in connectivity. And then payments. How are we going to reverse those? What happens if it's cross-border? What happens? So essentially, this one initiative becomes supported by all the disciplines, and then we use data analytics to actually produce the outcome. So, and now when we think about this, you're probably all thinking, oh yeah, I've got this idea. And I'm, what's about sustainability? Uh, our first kind of ones we identified were virtual card indicator, mm -hmm. onboarding. Onboarding and switchovers. Onboarding and switchovers and sustainability. Well, sustainability is a, exactly. <laughs> so we got to break that down into these small chunks and say, okay, first let's look at. Fields. That fields, was that was, I, it was my example and I couldn't even remember it. <laughs> Hi, New Orleans. <laughs> um, so the first example is fields. Mm -hmm. What fields are we going to support? Because what we really want to try to encourage as an association is that the hotels are leading and the d demand and distributors and the GDS and the OTAs are following. So we know it's a big take, but someone's got to kind of harness this idea. And that's what Hedna really was about. If you, those of you who have exactly. been around for a while, those GDS standards of how you switch yep. between one chain and the other in the GDS, 
that was Hedna. Correct. Those are standards that live on our website today. I actually had to pull that up when we were talking about onboarding and switchovers because some of our OTA partners had never seen them. And I'm like, <laughs> they exist. <laughs> They're out there. So we have to do a better job of what we're what we are um, what we are putting out there. That it's something that's actually producing and that people are using it, and we're referring back to it. Yep. And the big part of all of these initiatives is we definitely need engagement. Yes. It's definitely yes. a huge call to action. Yes, we're going to identify what those things are, whether it be specifically taxes and fees or the fields and sustainability. In either case, we need you. Yes. We need hoteliers and we need our technology partners to come along with us in this journey. And we need commitment from you. If you are a member of Hedna and we say that these are the best practices, these are the standards, you're agreeing that hey, I'm in line with Hedna, and if somebody comes to me, if Jeremy at Agoda comes to me and says, hey, I want to connect on onboarding and switchovers, and we've defined this a, a standard way to do onboarding and switchovers for hotels, I'm going to ask Jeremy, are we going to use that Hedna standard? And if he says no, then I'm going to say, hey, aren't you a member? I'm going to reinforce <laughs> that and say, look, we're both, we both agreed. We were yes. in that connectivity <laughs> session, so you have to use it. But we want to make sure that we can start to set the pace. And that's with every other organization. Because we look at all these partnerships that we have. And like I mentioned, I did that AMD e uh, webinar last week in partnership with AHLA. Those types of organizations are looking for Hedna to be the leaders on distribution and how we get this stuff out to all of our channels. So we have to be that place. We have to set the pace. We have to set the standard. Right? I mean, hello. <laughs> I mean, so so as you as you can probably tell, April and I have a little <laughs> bit of passion about all this stuff. And really what it's about um, is making sure that we are staying true to our commitment to you as members. Mm -hmm. Because if we're not, you know, I think about, um, I've been at a startup, I've been in that area where we're going, how do we connect and how do we get these things? Imagine a world where you could come to one association and actually get all of your, I, uh, all the, you know, connections and contracts and, well, that's that's too far, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Let's reel it back. <laughs> reel it back. <laughs> not contracts. Uh, but specs and everything from, you know, and we really want to be the leader in that. So. I think, you know, as we think through this, we're going to encourage you as, an, as uh, members to think about what's important to you. And I, and I, would, I would say as well, um, you don't need to come in and say, I know everything about taxes. Nobody does. So my encouragement to you is that don't think that there is a qualification. The only qualification is that you're part of this association. That's it. We will all learn together. Mm -hmm. We will all grow together. Um, and I would also say to you, think about uh, between, we'll kind of identify the three big disciplines as mm -hmm. connectivity, content, and payment. Yes. So if there's one of those that you're like, I really want to know more about payments, get involved. Yeah. So keep in mind, as we, as we look at, the initiatives are going to feed down to the disciplines. And some are going to support multiple, and some are not. Mm -hmm. So let's try and think of another example um, that wouldn't maybe affect all. Oh, virtual, well, that virtual card indicator. Yep. That That's one really doesn't about. touch content as heavily. So that would be a connectivity and a payment. So if you think about, how are we going to implement VCC? These two disciplines are going to support it, and then we're going to have an output. So you could have multiple initiatives running at one time. Now, what we don't want to do is bite off more than we can chew. Right, right. We're going to be very, we're going to be slow to kind of go out because we're making this commitment to our membership that we are going to have some actionable outcomes. Mm -hmm. So what that means is we're going to start slow. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and small, I'll say, because exactly. even the example of sustainability, when we introduced this concept of disciplines and initiatives in Milan, it was it was new. And so we're like, hey, we're going to take on sustainability. Hey, we're going to take on yep. onboarding and switchovers. <laughs> and then in the last six months, we've realized these are large topics yep. and we have to break them down. So when we say we want to start slow, we also want to start small. So if it's specifically the fields that are related to sustainability with taxes and fees, as we just heard there are multiple different issues and things that are going on which one should we start with and that's the question we'll have for you and even beyond those two topics there are other things that our hoteliers in the room are particularly passionate about we want to hear about what those things are because those can become initiatives it's not only the disciplines who can come up with and determine what those initiatives exactly. are 
it can come from all of you in this room to be able to say, this is something that we're passionate about, and you can send it to info at hedna.org. There you go. And then we will definitely see that information and figure out what do we need to do. But yes. we have to make sure that we have people who are going to lead the charge and take it all the way through to the finish line. And that finish line is something that can be shared here on this stage, whether it's just a chat between two people who are a part of the working group or the initiative, the initiative team, or it can be a white paper or yep. it can be a webinar. So when we exactly. talk about that new, that new Hedna studio and being able to produce content where that you, for all of us throughout the year, those are opportunities for that output to come so that it can be a constant conversation of the things that are going on. It shouldn't just be at Hedna at these conferences two exactly. times a year yep. where you learn about what's going on. It should be a constant conversation. Yeah, so, and I would say too, um, I wanted to add that don't, there's been a little bit of um, history that we've dealt with on, oh, I got to log on to a call once a month and give an update. Like, we're not looking to do that. We're not looking to have 50 people on a phone call to coordinate doodle, doodle schedules. We really want to go down and get a couple of folks who are going to actually execute on some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, please, we, we would love for you to be involved. Again, there is no requirement. Um, please submit initiative ideas to info at hedna.org. We will be posting all of this on the website so that you can know who to contact, who's in charge. Um, each discipline has a board liaison. So as April mentioned, she is connectivity. And I'm so quite she, passionate about it. <laughs> she just has a little bit of passion, <laughs> just a wee bit. Um, so you know, we'll make sure that you guys know who to contact. Um, and then to follow this up, what's really great is that we're actually going to have a couple of discipline breakouts. So we're going to have three different sessions throughout the conference. You'll see them on the agenda. We've got one that's coming up. Um, that's going to go through, um, I know it's Pacifica Hotels and, sorry, Brandon, did I say that wrong? Is it, I always get it backwards, Pacific, Pacifica? I think he's going to get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a networking break coming up. There we go, okay. Uh, Pacifica, so sorry. Um, uh, James from Webbeds and Anisha. So we're going to, so that will allow, if you want to go deeper into some of these, that's the opportunity to do that. So, and as April mentioned, it doesn't just mean content here. We're talking webinars. We're talking white papers, a lot of other ways that we can get this information out. Um, so we're going to go into a networking break sponsored by Travelport. Um, the Hedna Lounge is going to open shortly, and I would encourage everyone to go check out the silent auction. This is a new thing for us. Um, we are only as profitable as our fabulous members who contribute to our association. So um, please go into the silent auction. There's some great things down there. Thank you, Lena, for putting that together. And enjoy the networking break. And thank you again, Travelport, for, for um, sponsoring it.